Hello and welcome to my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely basket weave shawl. Let's get started. Here are the measurements of our shawl. So these are supplies we're going to be using to make our basket weave shawl. I'll go over them with you. The yarn we're using is, I love this yarn. It's the super soft sports weight. The color is crisp air. 100% acrylic and it's the light three. We need eight of these to complete our project. To complete the shawl you need seven but to do our fringe we're going to use eight okay. So eight of those. We're going to use a few stitch markers, yarn needle, and the hook we're using is the USH8. It's the 5.00 millimeter. And lastly, our scissors. So these are all the supplies and that's it. Let's get started. So for us to get started, we're going to do a slip knot stitch. And this is how I'm comfortable in doing my slip knot stitch. I'll show you. I take the yarn, drape it over my two fingers, let it fall to the back. I take my hook, put it between my two fingers and I pull up a loop. And there you go. I have a little knot and I tighten it against my hook. And that's it. Now to start row one, we're going to do 223 chain and to do a chain is just yarn over your hook, pull through, yarn over your hook, pull through, yarn over your hook and pull through. And keep your chain loose as you go along and keep a track of how many chain you have because we're going to need 223. So just keep on doing that. So you get 223 and I meet you there. So remember, it's just yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. And those are your chain. Okay, so we did our 223 chain. We got a long, long chain. Okay, so that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a double crochet into the third chain from our hook. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the back part of our chain, not the front. This will be considered the front. The back part is where you have those little bars in the back. So we're going to do the third chain from our hook. We're going to put the first double crochet. So this would be one, two, three. Okay. And there we're going to put the first double crochet. So now to do a double crochet, you yarn over before you go into that chain. And remember, it's the third chain and in the back bar and you pull up a loop and then you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and you're going to pull across the first two loops. There you go. Then you have two more loops remaining. So yarn over and pull across those two to complete it. So that's your double crochet. And that's our first one. So what you're going to do is going to put a double crochet all the way till we get back to the end where we started. Okay, it's just one double crochet. Double crochet again, yarn over, go into the bar in the back of her chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull across the first two, two more loops remaining on your hook, yarn over and pull across those two. Yarn over before you go into the next chain. See, that's why I told you to keep the chain loose because then you could work with it better. Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull across the first two, two more loops remaining on your hook. To complete the double crochet, yarn over one more time, pull across those two. That's it. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over your hook. Go into that chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull across the first two, two more loops remaining, yarn over, pull across those two. That's it. So keep on doing that till you get to the end and I'll meet you there. So we made it to the end of row one. Took us a while to get there, right? <laughs> so when you do with regarding how many stitches we have, you count them one, two, three, four, five. I'm using the post because that's what we're going to be doing using the post. So I count them, you get 122 because we're going to use, 
when we when we first started and we went to the third chain this made a loop so we consider that a double crochet when you get there you see it too so you have 222 double crochet for the completion of row one hopefully i didn't confuse you you understand that because we're counting the posts of it okay so you get 222 now we're going to start row two and to start row two we're going to chain two one two and here is where we're going to put in our first stitch marker and this is to help us when we come around and of course i put it into the little bar in the back of our chain okay so this will help us so put your stitch marker there and we turn it now so this will say like the right side of our work and the back of our work so that's where we're going to start working with row two by turning it and to start row two we're going to skip because if we were doing the regular double crochet we'd have worked the stitch right here but we're going to skip that i'll show you because we're going to work around the post of first stitch so remember the double crochet is yarn over and what you're going to do is this is considered the front post of our double crochet so you take your hook go around the post of our double crochet from row one show you when it comes up to the back how it looks and then you're just going to do the regular double crochet that's all you're going to do okay and this is the front so we're going to do this for four times so put your hook behind your work and pull it up and the regular double crochet all right because we've been doing the double crochet show you so we need one more and that's how it looks okay so now the next four stitches in the double crochet we're going to do the back post double crochet and the back post is you're going to take your hook and it's going to seem like it's coming to the front because we're going to that's when we make the yarn come to the back okay and just do the regular double crochet by pulling up a loop and you have your regular three loops on your hook yarn over pull across the first two and then to complete it yarn over across you know how to do the regular double crochet it's where we're putting it that's where change now okay so bring your hook let it come to the front of that post and keep your hook down when you come in because when you first do it it kind of like sometimes lose it but by the time you finish this shawl you're going to be good with this double and back double post crochet the double crochet all right so pull it across and then show you again see the hook how it's coming around keep it down pull it and you're doing your regular double crochet but it's like i said it's where you put in the hook okay that's change it makes it the front and the back double post so that's how you look when you start it okay so now you're going to follow this pattern to all the way till you get to your end and that will make it that you get 27 of this pattern you're going to repeat where you do because the next four show you the next four double crochet one two three four because we're using the post will be the front and the next four after that one two three four will be the back post so keep on working with that pattern of the front and the back post double crochet till you get to the final four and when you get to the final four i'll show you what to do next so keep a track you're going to do this pattern for 27 times and then i'll meet you there we made it now to where we're going to do the last four posts of our double crochet and we're going to do the front because our pattern finished off with the back and we did that pattern for 27 times 
So now we're going to do the front for the four last posts that we have. Remember just where you put your hook. It's like in the back of the post, but when you complete the stitch, it makes it in the front. And that's why we call it the double front crochet. Okay. So remember, just put your hook around the post and then do the regular double crochet. And we got one more to go. And that's it. That's our four. So now to complete row two, what we're going to do is we're going to put a half double crochet. Remember when we started, we did our first double crochet in the third chain from our hook. So this is our chains that we have right here. So what we're going to do is the half double crochet, just one. So yarn over and then we're going to go right to the, the first chain that we have up top and we're just going to pull up a loop and then you have three loops on your hook and to complete the half double crochet is just yarn over pull across all three loops on our hook and that's it and that's how we do a half double crochet and that's how we finish our row two with that half double crochet you would count that as a stitch and you would go all the way back to where we put our stitch marker and that will give you 222 stitches that we have for row two and that's the number of stitches we're going to keep because we're not going to increase or decrease so whenever you finish a row make sure you have your 222 when we count our turning chain okay make sure you have that now to start row three we're going to chain two one two and again here i'm going to put a stitch marker and of course in the little bar in the back of that chain of the chain two and that's how we're going to start row three now turn your work and of course we're going to follow the same pattern again we were doing by skipping that first stitch that would have worked if it was a regular double crochet but remember we're working with the posts and that's how you could do it when you count in your stitches use the posts of it okay so now we're going to do to start with the pattern for row three is the back post the first four stitches we're going to do the back post and the back post again is remember you bring your hook and you it's actually like shown in the front and then pull up a loop and then that's completed by doing the regular double crochet it's just where you put your hook it makes the front and back post okay so that's two You try to keep your hook down to me makes it easier that way when you do it okay so that's your four so now for the next four we're gonna put the front double crochet okay so the front And remember, it's the front post double crochet. You do four. So that's the pattern how you're going to do it. You keep with the what we did from the previous row. Okay. So there you go. So now you're going to do this pattern. Because remember, we didn't increase or decrease. You're going to do it again for 27 times. And then when you get to the last four, with it because we did how we did with the last four because when you finish off the pattern the pattern will be before you get to the last four i'll meet you there also okay so we made it to do the four last stitches for row three and we end off with the pattern because we did the we started off with the back and then the front so now we're going to finish off with the back okay because we did that pattern for 27 times so to complete row three 
you're going to finish off with four back post double crochet. That's it. Now to complete row three, we're going to put a half double crochet where we have our little stitch marker. So yarn over, remember to do the half double crochet. And you see where we have the stitch marker? That's the back of our chain. So I'm going to use the now the two loops that are if we were going to do a regular work through a regular chain. Okay, so we're not going to use the little bar in the back of it. And there you go. So I have like we're doing a regular double crochet. So we work through the train, right? And you know how to do the half double crochet. So that's it for row three. And with the completion of row three, you have your 222 stitches. So now we're going to start row four. Now to start row four, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to take your stitch marker and you're going to put it up to the, the chain two that we've just completed. So I moved my stitch marker up. So now we're going to turn our work and we're going to start row four. Okay, to start row four, what we're going to do is the same thing we've been doing, let's skip that first stitch, although we're using the pose, that's how our pattern calls for. So now we're going to do the front pose and the back pose for the first four. Four, the first four, you're going to do front pose. The next following four, you're going to do the back pose. So that's the pattern for row four, okay? And then remember, when you do it, you're going to do it for the pattern for 20 seven times and then when you get to the last four stitches to do I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next okay so now we made it to do our last four stitches for row four and we're going to end off by doing the four front post double crochet and that will complete for us to do the row four. And to complete row four, we're going to do the half double crochet where we left our stitch marker. It helps to remind us where to go. And that's it that's our half double crochet so that's the completion of row four so now to start row five remember you're going to chain two and we're going to move our stitch marker up and then we're going to turn our work and we're going to start row five now to start off row five of course we turn our work and for row five, what we're going to do is what we did for row four is do the front post double crochet. Okay, so it's the exact same thing you just did for row four. We're going to do for row five. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how to do the other rows because these are the pattern we're going to use. So now you start row five, you're going to do the front post. And then row six, you're going to do the back post double crochet. Row seven, you do the front post. Row eight, you do the front post. And row nine, you do the back post. So that's the pattern we're going to keep. And we're just going to extend our shawl. And we're going to go all the way up to row 54. And when you get to row 54, you should finish off with your front post double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you all the way there because it's just a pattern. And you see how it's coming out that we make it stack up here and then in the back. See, so it's just stacking rows on top of each other. 
and just keep a track of where you add and which if you're doing the front or the back post because remember you are gonna repeat the front post two times then you do the back post and then you repeat the front post two times for two rows okay hopefully I explain it right for you and you understand it if not check out my pattern and I put the link below where you could check get the pattern from okay so remember I'll meet you all the way up to row 54 but I just wanted to show you how it looks so far when we're doing it okay looks pretty nice pretty nice I like it basket weave you can see how the pattern is coming out really nice okay so keep a track of where you at so yeah we made it up to row 54 <laughs> we did great work it was a lot we did excellent work though it took a time and we did it we learned how to do the front and the back post stitch for the double crochet so i have that last half double crochet to do for row 54 so i'm just gonna do the half double crochet okay and now what i'm gonna do is to fasten off i'm just gonna do a chain and i'm gonna cut off my yarn and i'm gonna just pull it through that's all okay cut off my yarn and I, we did that chain one and that's it how we do it so now i'm going to show you how to tuck in our ends so we could start doing the fringes so i'm going to grab my yarn needle and i'll show you how i do it okay so go ahead and tuck in all your other ends the same way all right so all the ends that we have go ahead and tuck them in i'm just going to go back we're just hiding it and trying to hide it as best as you can. That's all we're going to do. I won't show you how to do the others but go ahead and do it and that's how it looks I just did it back and forth make sure it nice and stays okay full view of our shawl so I'm not going to show you how to actually cut the fringe I'm just going to tell you the size that I used and what I used to do it I use a chair back that I had and it came out to be because I want it to be nice and long because we're going to have to you see trim it so it won't be that exact size but I cut it to 25 inches but when we trim it you see you're going to um, get less than that so you could do it as long as you want to and then you could trim it so they all match up and I'll show you how to attach it but like I said I won't show you how to actually cut the fringe I see some people use books, but remember when you're cutting it, hold on to it. So, you know, you try to keep them all the same size and you don't lose them when you do it. I just wrapped it up quite a few times around the chair back and I just cut it and hold on to it while you're cutting so that you don't lose them. Okay, so let, let me show you how to attach it to our shawl. So I went ahead and I attached some of the fringes already. Okay. So now I use three strands of her yarn. Okay, put them together, three of them. And I line them up so they have one side that's lined up and then you're going to bend it in half make sure it's even as even as you can get it try to keep everything in the camera length sorry if i go off camera so we have it bend in the half in the middle bend it in the middle and then fine and how i did it is i as you see when you complete your shawl there's the loops where we made our 
chain two. So what I did is I put it not at every, if you want to, you could put it at every, but I skip one and then I put, so I would, I have this um, fringe here. I'll skip this one and I put the other fringe right here. So look at it too when you're doing it. Make sure it's as straight as you can get it or as close as you can. And just take your hook and pull it through. Give it enough space so that you can pull the remaining end of your fringe tail through. And just tighten it up and that's it. That's how we do it. So the next one, you would skip this one and do right here, the last one, okay? So that's how we add on our fringe. So go ahead and do the rest, the other side too, exactly this other same way. So when you finish putting them all on, I won't show you how to do it because I figure you know how to <laughs> trim and gauge it, okay? For as even as you can get them. So you just go ahead and clip off, trim the edge for them. You could do a bunch together so you get it nice. Or you, if you lay it flat against the surface, you could have them all together and just keep on going. All right, so trim your end. And that's it. That's it. We're finished. We completed doing our basket weave shawl. I think the pattern is so nice, so beautiful. And the shawl will keep you nice and warm. And hopefully you like doing it as much as I did. So till next time, bye-bye.